We're back to water this time. Kutaro just talked to us and told us to come somewhere. You're here. Nobody saw you come, right? <laughs> no, where are we going? I'm eating chips for this one. This is your passage. I love chips. This gap in the rubble here, can you fit through? There's a gap here? Where does it lead? That's for you to Where is this? Is this a computer? Doesn't seem to boot up. Huh, you're late. This way, this way. A bitch needs to chew. <laughs> KG? Quiet. Try not to alert anyone to this place. Just in case. Kitaro finally found it. Found what? Kai's laptop cord. What? Kitaro produced a laptop computer from under the from behind the rubble. It was unquestionably Kai's laptop, the one we found on the first floor. You found this here? Yeah, sure did. This laptop should have vanished from the first floor after Kai retrieved it. Why is it here on the third? Beats me, but there's no mistake. Kai's laptop. The possibilities I can think of are either someone collected this and put it here, or Kai put it here. Hold it, guys. Speak the truth later, alright? Sarah, KG, I called you over so you could break into this laptop. Huh? <laughs> did they just- did you just call them over because they're smart, like, detective-y types? I can't use a computer for beans. <laughs> Investigate what's on it. Give it a shot, Sarah. I want to know if, like... I want to know if Kutaro's frame is, like, exact to KG's or bigger than KG's. Because I still don't like him. <laughs> Alright! Okay, it's on. See? Yeah, he is, like, bigger and buffer, and I just hate him. Ronald McDonald ass. Okay, it's on. Please, get us some good info. Anything. Wait a sec, we should come up with a plan first for what data to look for. The laptop quietly booted up and displayed a password entry screen. Hmm, not good, the battery indicator. What? Shoot, it's still nearly drained. It's okay, I know the password. So I mentioned it in the main game, it was Cheetoween, it's my family's name. Password is anchor back. What? The password's wrong. What the? <laughs> You kidding me? What's going on? Why? Uh, Kai changed it, probably. Kai changed the password. That's the only explanation. What do we do? The battery's at 4%. Sarah, type in something you only you would know. Oh, man. If Kai really had a connection to your family, I bet he'd use a password we couldn't guess. That doesn't really narrow it down. I don't know. My family is just normal. There's nothing special to try. Kai, just what were you thinking? A connection to me. Our family's got a hero in the shadows, Sarah. Way to remember this so fucking late. I almost bit my tongue about this. Give me a minute. Father? <laughs> I entered another password. Starting up! Welcome! What? <laughs> nice work, Sarah! Alright. Dad. I just typed in Dad's name. Did you know Kai? The battery's on 3%. What do we do? Emails. Let's check the emails so talked about. Okay. The email log. So suspected Kai after reading those. 
We need to confirm what those were real or all lies. Real lies. I hope in Kai send emails. As planned. We'll get... There's a reason I'm skipping them. There they are. Yup. Exactly what So said they were. Did So wasn't lying? Wait. These emails. We just read them in reverse order. From the newest to the oldest. Sarah, there must be received emails corresponding to these two. Right. I'll check. There. Sure enough, there were conversations over email. Sort them out. Rearrange them to the proper order. This should tell us all Kai's actions. Hello, hello. Did you know Sarah's going to a board game meetup? Wonder if she's planning it alone. Papa's worried she might make some bad friends. Miss Sarah's looking forward to the game. Surely her friend will also take part. Also, who's worried that, like, the bad kid's gonna go to a board game made up? Like, relax. Kai, I never told you, so when'd you find out? I swear, about the only time I have any idea what you're up to is when you're there at home replying from your computer. Ah, oh, well, keep up the guard work. Thank you a million. This is the big message. That's exactly how my dad types. So your props and Kai were in communication? Guard work? What's that about? The stalking. Are you stupid? Kai, you betrayed us. Betrayed the organization. Betrayed me. It's about time. If any harm comes to Sarah Chiwin, I will stand against even you as an enemy. Unforgivable. It's all come to nothing. Just try and struggle. With your puny arms. Ha! <laughs> Roasted. Hey, the guy in the email. Not my dad. <laughs> From the context, maybe one of Kai's parents. That's a reach. And it says Kai betrayed the organization. I think it's a reach. Come on. What is it? He betrayed us, betrayed the organization, betrayed me. Yeah, it's not that, like, parent parental, but whatever. Japanese, maybe. Hello, hello! Feeling kinda in danger lately. Well, okay, it's Sarah. Well, okay, it's Sarah they're after. She's being targeted. I'm attached to this house, but I guess I gotta discard it and run. Will you come with Kai? I feel a deep affection for Miss Sarah as well. I will certainly protect her. I am prepared to offer myself up for the Cheetoween. Oh, Kai, you really are the greatest hero ever. Thank you, Zamillion. Another conversation with my father. See, I knew that something would happen. Discard the house and run. Sarah, are we making plans to move soon, say? I didn't hear about that. I didn't hear anything. Settle down. Keep reading. Are you the contact? You should know not to use address. I'll hear the report, but follow the rules from now on. As planned, 17 have been secured in case... There's no error in the deed the death game. Everything is proceeding smoothly. I see you've done well. On a most futile effort. Thought you could pretend to be my contact and disrupt things, guys. I like how his eyes shrank. They did a really good job making me feel awful in this moment. You're at home right now, away from the Chiwing's house, aren't you? I've got a tip for you. The phrase you just sent X people have been secured is the trigger that sets the plane into motion. You fell for the trap, Kai. Sir Cheetoween will be captured soon. Thank you, Zemillion. This one is From the day of the kidnapping. <laughs> What's the big idea? I'm not following it at all. I'll sum it up. Kai was in correspondence with two people. One with Sarah's father. The other was one of Kai's parents who belonged to the kidnapper's organization. Seeing that Kai betrayed the organization, he chose to protect Sarah. And to do that, on the day of the kidnapping, Kai sent a fake email to the organization. Maybe the idea was that it'd disrupt the organization, letting Sarah escape. But his ruse was fully exposed. He just got used instead. Cause, thank you a million was a sign off between Kai and Sarah's dad. The emails were going straight through. All of their exchanges went to the organization. No way. <laughs> then, then, 
Kai wasn't a stalker at all. He guarded me in secret to protect me? But the only time Kai left his guard duty was when he sent emails from home. This one crafty trick. Even after his cover was blown, I'm sure Kai was still trying to warn me. That night, coming home with Joe, that's why he stood in our way. That's what I remembered. <laughs> what the stalker had been saying. Don't go home! The battery line. Couldn't get any info related to escape after all. But still, sure enough, Kai wasn't a good for nothing villain. Is that information really beneficial? Thank you. Sorry, but this had to happen. These chips are amazing. And I love them. Is that information really beneficial? That's what I first thought when we went through this. There are still things we could check. If we can just get it charged, we can boot this laptop back up. Sarah. You hold on to it, Kutaro. Me? Yes. I agree. Why the fuck did she say that? For the time being, let's not tell everyone about this. It's a secret weapon for just us three. Make sure you don't spill the beans. Gotcha. That's settled then. We should just act the same as yesterday. Also, when Katie said make sure not to spill the beans, Kutaro said something and then we didn't have to. He trusts us. Yeah, I'll hide the laptop in my bedroom and go do an attraction or something. We should get going, too. Yes. We left. <laughs> I can only handle so many of these, um... Whatever. Huh? Kana is alone? What happened, I wonder? I don't give a fuck, but... Sarah does. Sarah. Kana, you aren't with So. He does not seem to feel well, so he's sleeping. That not that the second day? Whatever. Seems that Alice is keeping an eye on him. Alice? Yes. It seems he has a kind side, too. Whatever. I don't buy it. Because, um, So is on the exact opposite side as, um, Sarah is, I don't buy it. Kana, you can't trust so easily. I'm sorry. But Kana just can't see Alice as a bad person. He's a murderer. He admitted that he's a murderer. There's no reason to apologize. You thought about it yourself and you chose to entrust him with that duty. Yes. Sir, I found something curious while exploring. It was over toward the ruined corridor. Sir, I'd like you to come with me. Someone else. How about taking Kutaro? He's strong and all. Ooh. She's gonna cry. She's scared. Got it. Let's go together. Fuck off. Gene, do you wanna have some tea? Hmm. I'm gonna tell him, meow. I don't have any, so it's coffee, okay? Why would it be, Wolf? <laughs> I, I actually do love that so much. Like, I actually don't have anything other than tea, but would you like coffee? Why would it be? Whoa. Whoa. This way is through a secret passage in the back. This is a different passage than the rubble room. Sure is dark. Who knew this was here? If you go all the way back, it's even darker. She seems likely to trip. Don't let go of me now, Kama. Of course it's... I mean, Zara. Nah, it's fine. Being with, you like th being with you like this, it really feels like I'm with my sister. Get off me. Get your burdens off me. 
I didn't feel, I didn't know what to say to that. Place of words. I held her hand as we walked through the dark. Cute, but I fucking hate this bitch. Here it is. There's a door right here. It's pitch black. You peek inside. No, kind of so. Both lacked the courage to open it. Ah, so you took Sawin before me and he was just a pussy? And that's why you brought me back? I'll go in first. If it's not dangerous, you follow. What's this room? Strange. Feels like I've been here before. It's kind of okay. Come on in. What? This is the first trial room. Bad memories. Death trap. But I wonder why. Tell me why. Coming in. Kana. Ah. Ah. Oh yeah. Kana, Kana, Kana. Unforgivable. Oh, it's gone. This is the room where sister was because of me. Calm down, Kana. I hate your bitch ass. Why are you beginning to drop? It's Kana, I'll leave the door open. Wait outside the room for me. Okay. Yeah, I can't make Kana search it. I can. It's my hole. Oh my god, I didn't lower the mic thing. Oh no, I hope it... Whatever. You're just gonna have to deal with it because I'm not popular enough. I'm not like fucking... Markiplier. Since it's here, Kana's sister might have had it PewDiePie, you know what I mean? Which means maybe there's some message left on it. Just before her death, I have a bad feeling. Just read it, god damn. Don't take it. I can't run away. Well then, take it. You abandoned me, you awful sister, I hate you, go die. Just die, Kana murderer, I'll curse you from hell. You know. This can't be, this is just too much. Kana sister died, loathing her. Sarah's stupid. I can't tell Kana that. We already knew, like, from our first moment here, that, that typing anything like this would have been impossible. There's no time. Whatever. Sarah, are you okay? Kana's behind me. What's the matter? It sounds like you yelled something. Seize the phone. Hide it. Kana, someone's coming. What? I slid the phone in my hands under the bed. Is there someone there? Somehow I managed to hide it without Kana noticing. Y yeah, sorry. Did that surprise you? Came to call for you, Kana. So... <laughs> Quite the dark passage that was. I'm gonna just go ahead and say it right now. <sighs> Kana was like, oh my god, me and, um, so we're too shy to figure out, like, what to actually do. So she brought Sarah in, and then immediately, so was like, well, it's safe because Sarah tested it, you know? Kana Kizuchi to rejoice. All the three of us trade tokens. Tokens? We shouldn't talk in a place like this. Let's head back for now. I understand. Thank you very much, Sarah. I was saved by coincidence. You think so? I think you were trapped by coincidence. Aren't you leaving, Miss Sarah? Ah, uh, yes. If I took the phone now, so would find out. I'll recover it later. Don't be such a pussy, honestly. Us three will do a token trade. Sarah Cheetwin, you take a hike. Alright. As long as they're here, I won't be able to get the phone. I'll have to come back when there's an opening. Ah, uh -huh, yes. Sarah Cheetwin. What is it? I just happened to overhear the youngster team talking, but it seems there's a ghost in the medical office. A ghost? I don't know the details, but go take care of it. Are you afraid? Obviously, I can't go to the attractions until something is done about it. Yeah, let's go to the ghost. Um. You're so rude. Joey, sir. Not again. It's a 
the hallucination. I just knew it must be hallucination again. Hallucinate is worsened by 20. Oh, fuck, Sarah. Why? Why didn't you save me, Sarah? <laughs> no more of this. How long can I suffer? How long am I going to? I, appro I approach the closet, but the hallucina hallucination doesn't go away. Fuck, I, I can only see it more clearly. Don't tell me this is... Joe? No, he's not reacting. What's wrong with my eyes? What are you doing? Don't go opening doors without asking, please. Yeah, hold on. Something that looks just like Joe is looking at me. If you need something, please let me know. And don't go searching around on your own. I should be free to explore. We're free to search where we like, surely. <laughs> Under his bed, I'll tell you the truth. What's in there is a doll. A doll? You must have seen them before as well. A doll of Miss Kana, a doll of yourself. Do you remember now? Yeah. What are they for? What's the purpose of these dolls? They are one of the experiments done by our organization. I cannot say anything more than that. The more I looked at the doll, the more... The more I looked at the doll, I felt it might start moving any moment. It's like Joe really is there. If it pleases you, do you want to borrow it? Don't be ridiculous. Who would want such a thing? The, one of the purposes of these dolls is made for is mental relief. A precious person you can no longer meet. You can talk to them or have them beside you. A doll is a doll. I don't need it. But you're distressed, aren't you? Please be honest, Miss Sarah. You need salvation. You have regrets. You desired it. You could have joined hands with Joe and escaped together. You gave that up and killed Joe. And you mourn that fact. Stop it! Faith in Joe, Tosino, that is your only path towards salvation. That's not... Stubborn, I see, then just for you. Allow me to show you a wonderful function that will make you feel even closer to the stall. Does it vibrate? <laughs> Quit it, you. Isn't that a little too much interference? Maybe you're not a villain, but you're sure not you know, you're sure not normal. I, I apologize, I went too far. I won't speak any more about dolls. However, if I might at least offer a suggestion. I have a device for healing mental wounds. Please come here before your hallucinations become so so intense as to destroy your mind. That is all. What's the one? Are you okay? <laughs> I'm exhausted. Can't say I'm surprised. Wanna sit down for a bit? Okay. Sarah, did you? Did you like Joe? This is interesting. So, I always say, like, he's, he was a close friend. But I want to know what happens if we say, uh, I don't know. But ever since he left, my heart has been a mess. Sarah. Yeah. He was important to you, regardless of liking or love, right? Yes. Come to think of it. You had someone important to you too, right? You said you'd tell me about it if we survived the main game. Ooh, he got made. I did. It was back when your good old policeman was still in grade school. All I had was a single mother. We weren't affluent. So when I went to visit friends, I had to borrow mom's errand bicycle. 
the brakes on it were busted, so one day I fell off and the bike went sailing into the river without me. The embarrassment of being laughed at by my friend and the pain of losing my mom's dear bicycle got me weeping like nobody's business. That's so cute, though. And there on the scene was a friendly neighborhood bike policeman. He left in the river and fished out the bike, and even spent hours at the police box repairing it. Soaking wet and awkwardly cool. He was my hero. So he's the person important to you. He's what made me want to be a policeman. I'll never forget it. It's a precious memory. Thank you. I feel like I learned something about you for the first time, Casey. Huh? Oh, really? Thank you very much. Don't mention it. Okay, that's the end of that story. You calm down a little. <laughs> yes, thank you very much. See ya. You can always depend on Mr. Policeman. At any rate, I learned the truth about the ghost of the medical office. I want to get moving. I want I'll continue searching attractions. I ooh, 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 ooh. I can't help you with it. You got some time? You want to... I don't want to talk to you. 
Do you want to trade 30 tokens? That's a lot. I've been thinking about stuff. Yeah. 30 tokens is pretty good, actually. Not the worst. Is it okay with you? Could we trade to 30 tokens? Um, I don't like now that much. She can fucking suck it. I don't know. Let's do it. With, uh, Reco. Good shit, I'll call, I'll call some so coffee. Soppy? Huh, what's up, you nervous? No, of course not. Hey Sarah, I'm not up to something, okay? I just thought it'd be good to get to trading some good tokens. Since holding your own seems pretty pointless after all. You can even clear, you can even trade for clear chips using other people's tokens, can't you? Or is 30 too many? Ah, uh, Sarah, let me guess. You're afraid of me knowing your personal info? Huh, <laughs> that's right. If I trade her 30 now, Rekka will have 30 of my tokens too. I'm fine with you knowing. Rekka, I don't really mind if you know. Listen, Sarah. So long as I know who you are now, the past doesn't mean crap, Rekka. Even if you're a criminal or some real <laughs> or a real asshole. Right now, you're a guiding hero, standing up against all difficulties. It ain't gonna change that. Am I wrong? Haven't got any intention of looking at your personal info anyhow. So relax. Well, for whether we trade or not, I respect your, wish your wishes, Sarah. What do you trade? What do you say? Will you trade 30 tokens? Of course. Uh, understood. Let's trade, Reko. Good deal, Sarah. I love you, honey. That's it for negotiation. Thought all the time I collect the smartphone. Smaho. Ooh, baby, I love you. Hey. It's okay, it's not here. Where did it go? How could it be gone? What are you looking for? Could it be? This phone. So, huh? What if I hit the bullseye? You took the phone. Well, yeah. Er. What's your aim? What do you intend to do with the phone? What should I do, indeed? Maybe I'll toss it. Or maybe I'll go show this cruel message to Kana. Sure enough, you saw it. As if. I wonder, was that your aim, Miss Sarah? What the fuck? Heh, <laughs> just think about it, would you? Do you think she could write that message while on death's door? Huh? I recall there was a time limit in the t first trial, wasn't there? With someone who didn't want to die, give up so soon and leave a, leave a message. And one with line breaks and capitalization. I mean... There's only one answer here. This message was fabricated. Amazing, huh? This is definitely trying to drive Kana into a corner. Just a solid ball of malice. Some people will do anything to harass. It was you, wasn't it, Miss Sarah? What? You're saying I wrote that message? I saw it all unfold. You set the phone in place under the bed. What are you saying? I hid it so that Kana wouldn't see. I didn't set it in place. I hid it there so Kana wouldn't see it. I hid it, huh? It's obvious that Kana would search this room eventually. The feeling that maybe her sister left something behind that would guide her here. A message on a phone she would find herself. She'd be taking it head on. A heaping help of despair. This time would totally destroy her. I wonder if you intended to ha offer Kana a hand in the depths of despair to make her depend on you. Cut it out already. I can't help but be mystified by your methods of gathering trust. Ever since the main game, I've been wondering. Since the main game. So, you, your memory. Yup, I lied about losing them. Lied. What was I to do? I certainly couldn't let myself be singled out if I wanted to get clear chips. Of 
course I didn't expect to trick you, Sarah. But as long as I could find just one total sucker, that would be plenty. I'm a fool for being a little worried. Oh, honey. That's the cool thing about, um, assholes, is that as soon as you trust someone a little bit, you can be considered a total dumbass for being tricked. <laughs> well, it doesn't matter. You and I aren't going to get along at this point. While I'm around everyone else, I'll act the same as before. <laughs> so things doesn't matter. I'm getting that phone back. I'll destroy it for Kana's sake. You've got a ghastly look on your face. Are these your true colors, Sarah? I take it by force. I'll attack the moment he's open. What? What? Fork it over, bitch. It went surprisingly well. Soul's resistance was extremely feeble. But there's one thing I didn't expect. What is this? Live, Kana, even it even on your own. Don't cry. I'm sorry we couldn't go together. I love you, Kana. The message is different. Give it back. Taking advantage of my surprise, he grabbed this, the phone back. You're a bitch, Sarah. So did you. Whew. I won't let you have your way. Wait. Erg. He got me again. How does he keep doing it? Just sparing out. Put the room behind me. Fuck. Where did so go? I can't just ignore him. We're gonna save it here and we're gonna combine it with the last part that I recorded. I love you all.